Good morning and Jai Hind children. I welcome you all in today's live class of chemistry. Children, we are discussing the chapter waste water management. Is it? And in previous class, I have discussed the yes, the methods by which we can keep the water safe or we can use the water again. All right, under the Yes, better housekeeping practices. And I hope that you understood those all ways by which the water can be made clean again and can be utilized again. Okay. Now, today I am going to start the next topic of the chapter and the topic is alternate methods for sea waste disposal. So, this is the topic that alternate methods for sea waste disposal. Children, here we will discuss that what other methods we can use for disposing the sea waste. If the waste water treatment plant is not available in the area. Okay. So, simply making a sea waste system as explained in the chapter we have discussed in previous class is very expensive that making the wastewater treatment plant it is very expensive so in places such as a small village or a farmhouse away from the city where a sewage system does not exist so the alternate sewage disposal system can be used okay and one such method involves making a septic tank. So, children, septic tank is one of the alternate method for sea waste disposal. Alright, the sewage is allowed to flow into a tank in which anaerobic bacteria decompose the waste. Alright, so such a tank is known as septic tank. In septic tank, which kind of bacteria is present there? Anaerobic. Children, do you know about anaerobic bacteria? The bacteria are of two kinds, aerobic bacteria and anaerobic bacteria. Aerobic bacteria can, yes, decompose in the presence of oxygen. And anaerobic bacteria, they does not require oxygen for decomposing the waste. So, in septic tanks, anaerobic bacteria are used to decompose the waste. And after decomposing the waste, it can be used as a manual. Alright, so this is the first alternate method for sea waste disposal that is making septic tank. Now, another method that allows the excreta to flow into a biogas plant to cover drains. Okay, and the biogas which are produced, it can be used as a fuel. So, the next method is, yes, the biogas plant. So, making biogas plant is also act as an alternate method for sea waste disposal. In such plants, the excreta, especially the excreta of the animals, to flow into a biogas plant through the covered drains and the biogas which are produced to such plants, it can be used as a fuel. Alright, it can be used for cooking food, it can be used to, yes, it can be used as a electricity. So, it, it is used as a fuel. Okay, so these are the two alternate 
methods for sea waste disposal. Now one more alternate method is there and that method is wormy composting toilets. Children, the wormy composting method or wormy composting toilet, it is a new method which recently tested in India is to use red worms to treat the human excreta and convert it into wormy compost. Okay, that is why such toilets are known as wormy composting toilet because a worm that is the red worm. Red worms are used to treat the human excreta and they convert the human excreta into the compost and such a compost is known as wormy compost. And this wormy compost is act used as a manual for plants. Okay. So the human excreta is going to disposed by the action of red worms into the wormy compost and this wormy compost is an excellent manual for the plant and this method of wormy composting toilet is simple hygienic and uses less water right, children so these are the different alternate methods for sea waste disposal making a septic tank, making biogas plant and the wormy composting toilets. Okay. Understood? So, I hope that you understood these different alternate methods. Now, after this, we have the oral question second. So, come to the questions which are given in oral question second. And the question number one is, what is the aim of sea waste treatment? So children, you know very well, the main aim of sea waste treatment is, yes, to remove the impurities which are present in sea waste. Okay, so the basic aim of sea waste is to remove solid impurities from the sea waste and to make the liquid component of the sea waste safer for fish and humans when this sewage is discharged into water bodies. Alright, so no fishes and aquatic animals get affected and it also not affects the human. Okay, now the question number two and the question is why should you not throw the following into the kitchen sink or flush them down the toilets. And these things are first one cooking oil. Second, sanitary napkins. And the third one is paints. Okay, so these three things, these three materials, we should not throw the into kitchen sink or flush them in toilet. So children, the reason for them is as this first one, the cooking oil, they have the ability to block pipes due to their tendency to harden. Alright, when the cooking oil flush in kitchen sinks, so they get hardens and blocks the pipe and because of it, what happened? Yes, the water gets overflowed. The flow of water gets stopped. Get it? That is why we not have to throw them in kitchen sink. Now the second material is sanitary napkins. 
these napkins if we throw them in kitchen sinks or flush them into toilets so they clog the drains and obstruct with the free flow of oxygen which is required for the proper decomposition of waste and as a result in the absence of oxygen the decomposition of waste will not occur they remain there in the yes sewage all right so that is why sanitary napkins should not throw into the kitchen sink or flush them into toilets now the third material is paints children the paints are toxic to microorganisms and kill the microbes that are essential for cleaning the water as you know that there are some microbes which are essential because they help to clean the water so if the paints thrown into the kitchen sink are flushed into the toilets so they will kill the microorganisms because they are toxic in nature and when such microorganisms which are essential for cleaning the water get killed so the process of cleaning water gets stopped all right so these are the reason that is why we should not throw these materials like cooking oil sanitary napkins and pens either in the kitchen sink or into the toilet okay now come to the next question and the question is in the aeration tank of a wastewater treatment plant the aerobic bacteria help in getting rid of some contaminants okay so name some of these contaminants and how do the bacteria help to remove these contaminants children understood the question in this question you have to write down name of some contaminants that can be yes decomposed by the aerobic bacteria in waste water treatment plant and also you have to tell that how do the bacteria help to remove these contaminants so the contaminants that can be neutralized by aerobic bacteria are first one food and the third one is fecit so these are the yes substances are contaminants that can be decomposed or can be treated by aerobic bacteria that is so food and feces get it and these aerobic bacteria digest these organic contaminants and use them as nutrients because these all are the organic contaminants so that is why they can be utilized they can be used by the aerobic bacteria they can be digested by aerobic bacteria and after the digestion of these materials by aerobic bacteria they use them as a nutrients for themselves okay so these all are the oral questions second and i hope that you understood these all answers is it clear okay so this is the all topics of the chapter which is given now at last i'm again going to yes use the concept map to summarize the chapter now children as we are going to discuss mainly about the waste water management in this chapter all right so the waste water that is generated from different places like homes industries hospitals offices etc is mainly yes we can write the sources of it and the sources are
So these are the different sources from where the waste water generated. The first one is rain water runoff. Children remember that when the rain water runs on the land. So while running off, they get mixed with certain substances like soil particles get added there. Okay, the human faces, animal faces, urine get mixed there. And when this runoff water moves through the agricultural land, the fertilizers and the pesticides which used there, they also get added. Okay, and now the water gets polluted and it is not safe for use. So the waste water generated by the rainwater runoff. Second, offices. The different offices where the number of people are working. Alright, the toilets, kitchens which are present here, they also release a lot of amount of waste water. Hotels are also the places where the waste water generated. Hospitals, the different disease causing germs, it's added in the water bodies and yes, the water gets polluted or it gets waste, which is not safe for use. And just like that, in industries, different kind of industries, they also release certain chemicals and other harmful substances into the water and that water is not safe. And just like that, from the homes, the water also becomes gets waste water like from kitchen after washing utensils and the uh, fruits, vegetables, okay. And from the toilets, that urine and in the form of faces and all. So these all are the places or sources from where the waste water generated. Get it? Understood all the sources. Now after that, water is going to move in the form of sewage. Such waste water is known as sewage because it is not used for our purpose. And the sewage can be taken by sewage system. The sewage water, which is the waste water, taken by the, yes, it's a sewage system or we can also say that Wastewater treatment plants. Okay, the wastewater which is the sewage and now it's taken by the sewage system and moves to the wastewater treatment plants to remove all the impurities. Okay, and now from this Sewage treatment plant, the different processes involved to remove the impurities and these processes are, the first one is The first step which involved in wastewater treatment plant is vertical bars and with the help of these vertical bars, the large size of solids are removed. Okay, so you can say that for removing the large solids, vertical bars are used in wastewater treatment plant. Okay, now after that.
second step which is involved here the grip chambers so in the grip chambers the small solids are removed large solids like the cans plastic bags the broken toys they are removed from the vertical bars and the small solids such as the gravel the sand particles they removed in next chamber which is known as grit chamber okay and after this that waste water passes to the next part in waste water treatment okay and this is the purifiers now the water moves to the next chamber which is known as clarifier and here in clarifier the sludge is removed okay the sludge is children actually the impurities which are present in waste water which is not the solid and they suspended there so the, after the grit chamber the next chamber is the clarifier and here with the help of the scrapers the impurities which are floating on the surface of the waste water they get removed they get separated and such impurities are known as sludge okay so after the clarifiers the next step is the next chamber is aeration tanks okay in aeration tanks the organic contaminants are removed with the help of aerobic bacteria get it clear so that is why the name of this tank is aeration tank so whatever the organic contaminants are present there like uh, human faces okay that food waste and all they get decomposed or they get removed by the action of aerobic bacteria in aeration tank and after this aeration tank the water moves to the disinfection and in this step the chlorine is added and when the chlorine is added so the water the waste water in which all the impurities are get separated now the harmful bacteria as the germs gets killed and now this water will not be harmful then this water can be yes added in river or water bodies it will not affect the fishes it will also not affect the crops so this water can be used for agriculture or it can be added in water bodies so these are the different steps which are involved in yes waste water treatment plants to remove the impurities present in sewage get it clear the first step is the use of vertical parts by which the large size solid particles removed after that the grid chambers where the small solids like sand and gravels removed and then the clarifiers are used in which with the help of the scrapers the sludge the impurities the solid impurities which are floating they get removed and after drying these sludge it can be used as a yes compost and after the clarification the waste water moves to the next tank and that tank is aeration tank and here with the help of aerobic bacteria organic contaminants the organic impurities which are present in that waste water gets removed and at last this waste water get moved for chlorination so the chlorine added there to disinfect the waste water 
and after adding the chlorine the germs which are present here they get spilled and now this water can be used either for agriculture or can be added in any water bottle great now this seepage can be passed the two problems okay the first cause of this seepage is diseases and the second one is water pollution if the seepage is not treated properly so what can happen it can cause the diseases as it have the different disease causing germs such as cholera typhoid all right and it can also pollute the water if it added in water body without treatment as it have the harmful chemicals present in it so it can harm the water and the aquatic life the plants the animals they also get affected and if this water is get used to drink so it can cause the different diseases also so the water pollution and the diseases these both can occur because of the untreated sewage and if the sewage treated by sewage system and uh, waste water treatment plant actually children the sewage system is actually the drainage system by which the sewage moves from different sources from homes from industries from hospitals from hotels etc and they move to the pipes and finally it goes to the waste water treatment plant get it and there they get treated well to remove all the impurities and now it will be not harmful either for fishes or for crops but without treatment this sewage can cause these two problems it causes that certain diseases that like water borne diseases and also the water pollution because of having the lot of impurities say that chemicals and all get it so this is the complete flow chart or concept map of the chapter that we have discussed in this chapter the different sources from where the waste water generated so homes industries hospitals hotels offices and rain water runoff these all are the sources by which the waste water generated and this waste water forms the sewage and the sewage taken by the sewer system they carry them in waste water treatment plant and by these all activities it get treated and without treatment it can cause these two problems all right so these are all the topics of the chapter which i have discussed today and i hope that you understood these all topics okay now in next class i will discuss the exercise of books all right so thank you and have a nice day